What's up guys, and today we have a Hyundai Ionic 6 in. And the reason for this is for a new AVN unit. We will explain at the end why we are replacing this, but let's get into it. So on the passenger side of the vehicle, right hand drive, gonna obviously open the door, but make sure the car's unlocked. Once you're in, plastic tray underneath the glove box, three clips, it will drop down and then two tabs you can just pull out on the back. Just under there is our AVN unit, which is held in by four screws to either side. But before we uh, get this removed, we need to uh, open the bonnet and get our 12 volt battery disconnected because we don't want to uh, cause any further issues. Give that plastic trim a bit of a pull and just get your battery disconnected. Doesn't matter what side you disconnect, just get the battery disconnected. In this case, I was going to disconnect the positive, but it's a bit of a bugger to pull off, so we're just going to do the negative and take it out. But once you've done that, it's a very straightforward job, so we're just going to go and get a Phillips out of our toolbox. You overpriced Phillips. We're just going to remove our four screws either side. Once you've done that, the AVA unit, AVN unit will just drop down and pull out. And then we just got a few multi plugs to disconnect. Once they're all disconnected, get your new unit, get more plug back in, and it will just slot back up in. We use one screw to hold it in place whilst we get all the other screws in. Once that's in, just get the two locators in the back of the tray here. And then we'll have three tabs along the front where we just got to line them up and clip them all in. Get your 12 volt battery reconnected and shut the bonnet now we did have our microphone case on the scuttle panel so that broke so we're currently doing a voiceover inside the car where it's a bit quieter as you can see the bonnet did not shut but as you can tell by the photos bluetooth ionic 6 and the car apple play it is now working so what originally happened with this is the customer tried installing their own ota updates and installed the wrong ones and it cut completely corrupted the AVN unit so we've replaced it and we're going to send the old one back to Highland.uk UK to get it all reprogrammed properly but we can now say it's all working nice and good so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one